Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing All Day IPA from Founders Brewing Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Thank you for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. I've said that about 300 times now. Definitely appreciate you checking out this video. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I am Ben. What are we drinking today, gentlemen? We're going to have the Founders All Day IPA, thanks to Motormouth Ben over there, who's flying through this one. Uh, oh. You know, this is set nice session out for Founders. So good easy drink of beer. Let's crack it and drink. Great right? this bad boy. I agree. I'm just thirsty, Maybe. Jay. I'm sorry if I'm, you know. I know. I get you, man. I was just worried about oh, the shite. It looked, it looked like ah, Damn it. Jay shook Andy's again. How did I shake Andy's? Mine had like the buy these. In the can. What is going on? This I agree, but look at, look at that. I, I got a big old dent in that can, and nothing happened to it. Golly, this happens too often. All right, we are back uh, after a cleanup on all. Andy, uh, we're starting to believe that the attic is cursed. Um, so, uh, Andy, I don't know, maybe an attic tour when you have that, y y y'all can, y'all can, I don't know, you, that you can exercise the, the demons. Yes. Yeah. Show I think people when he with runs this. up the stairs with his beer, it's like this. It just shakes I don't it run up, up the stairs. <laughs> what, what's the, how high is that attic? Is this like, I mean, you haven't taken an elevator up there or what? I don't know. It's like 15 okay. feet below, above the first right. floor. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. Cheers, mates. <laughs> Well, this is all day IPA. It's four point seven percent, making it a session beer. Session IPA. all day, all day. Meaning you can multiple times without getting too inebriated. What are the IBUs on this? Does it say forty two? Forty two okay. IBUs. It is sold year round. The tasting notes are hobby, citrus, pine, and tropical, which I tend to agree with. Well, that's it about the beer. <laughs> that's all that they all right. talked about. Founders didn't go into the great detail about this beer, but founders... We have reviewed uh, multiple. What was that first one? Quarter. Quarter. Yeah, I was thinking, was it the quarter? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we did the, the first episode one number quarter. five. And I think that was two, three. Maybe. <laughs> that <identic> memory. Yeah. <laughs> they were founded in 1997, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Technically, they're now a macro brewery. I think we discussed this in the past. Oh. Grupo Mahu San Miguel. I think it's a Spanish group. And now there is a, a portion, a part of that company is Mahu USA, which is founders is part of that. So technically they're macros. So to that point, you know, if you are new to the show, we do a macro Monday, the first Monday of every month, we release a macro review. Uh, typically, these are your extremely large macros, your, you know, Anheuser-Busch uh, and others. Um, but typically, when we're doing a macro beer or macro for Macro Monday specifically, we're we're doing it based on the beer, right? I mean, that, that you know, what is it, six? What you consider a macro beer and right. not, not the company. Brewery, right? So I, I just want to clarify that for my own 
edification. Although, unprofessionally, we will uh, adjust the rules for our favor just oh. to get a beer. Of course. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's our show. Macro, <laughs> so macro depends it's on the number of show. barrels. <laughs> right, Andy? So when we're talking Correct. number of barrels sold, puts you at that level. And a company in the United States, their, their definition of macro is if greater than 25% of your company is owned by a macro brewery. So, you know, founders could be producing less than 6 million barrels, but if a macro group owns greater than 25%, they're considered a macro brewery. So the takeaway here is we're going to do however we want to. Yeah, we're, we're going to. We just got to put out a show, and yeah, we're just we're here to drink beer and put out a show. So whatever okay. happens around that, if is, you want to contradict us, find us in Discord. You know, yeah. comment. Exactly. Maybe we'll let the comment uh, post to YouTube. <laughs> you know, we don't we don't uh, selectively choose what comments get allowed and what don't. Act like that. All right. What else we got? That's it. That's it. I'm not going any further. So I, I would like to correct both of you. Thank you. Founders was number three on our okay. episode list. Sure. Well, well, Andy yeah. said two or three. I said five. We said we had Chandelier, Broken Ridge, Chandelier, Broken Ridge, Founders, Founders Bells, yeah. Left Hand. I knew it was early. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, if out of 300 ish, I get one wrong. You know, I get a number wrong. Mm -hmm. That's all right. All right. Uh, with that, has anybody not had this? We've all had this, right? I've had it. Yeah, I know I've yes. had it. It's a different. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, then, Jay, why don't you go first for us? What do you think? Sure, I'll have it. Uh, this to me is kind of the epitome of just a session IPA. Um, it, it's a go-to um, if I want something that I'm going to sit by the pool or you know out on the river in the lake drinking. Easy drinking for what you say four point seven for Andy. Mm -hmm. uh, always been good to me. I I've, I don't think I've ever had a bad one when I bought one. So. Uh, and, and you got to give it to the can art. I mean, I love the Grand Wagoneer. That's a throwback to my childhood. So <laughs> it, it's great. Uh, it's a seven and a half all day for me. All right, Andy. Jay, you said it. It is very easy to drink. In terms of IPA, there's nothing offensive about it. It's not too much pine, not too much resin. It's not too hoppy. It's not too bitter. I mean, there's hardly any bitter to this. Um, even at 42 IBUs, it's just almost, it's almost a bit, I mean, diluted. If you consider it being a session um, IPA, but still good. I would, you know, and I've had it before and it was, um, I think I've brought it to some baseball games sitting in the outfield and um bought some, there. yeah some all days um it's an it's an easy it's a good you know when you think of certain ipas it's like they might be kind of filling or heavy and it's like you don't want to do it in a hot day this is a this is a hot day beer this is this can be a pool beer this can be a lake beer so i think it's pretty good uh i give it a 7.0 it's easy to drink all right, uh, Andy, you, you stole a little bit of my thunder there. Um, <laughs> the, the, the first time I had this beer, I was actually with the two of you at a baseball game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the last time we were all at a baseball game, an Ole Miss game together, uh, we had some of this out in the outfield, and uh, it was the first time I'd had it. And, yeah, it's definitely – you know, if you like an IPA, and I mean, this is the gateway IPA, right? It, it, it's 
There's Fair. nothing too heavy one way or the other. It's right down the middle. Um, and it's definitely one from an uh, ABV standpoint, it, as they say, you can have all day. Uh, so I think to that point, like you said, it, you can have it in, in any kind of climate. You know, it's not, it's not, you don't lean towards, you know, this being like a cold weather beer. Or, you know, it, it's just a, it's just a middle of the road kind of perfect IPA. Uh, if you're it's not an IPA guy like myself, you're middle of the road. Exactly. <laughs> you called it seven and a half was exactly where I was going. We, so, uh, the we've, done, we've obviously That's done too many of these shows. Three and, quarters of the road. That is you, know, middle. You, uh, you have, uh, but you're, but you're right, man. I mean, it could be a test. campfire beer. It could be, you know, uh, you know sit, sitting around the fireplace, any of those types. It's, yeah. it's, Winter, summer, spring, fall. This this is an all day, every day. Yep. I should just let you. You could have probably Andy. You probably could have just done my bit here. Middle on the, of the road. The review. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a five, but no, it's yeah. a seven and a half. Yeah, exactly. So, but no, this one's this one's good, especially if you are not an IPA drinker. This is one that you should go grab just to try something different. Good night. There you go. Thank you. That is going to be a 7.3 all day for the all day IPA <laughs> from Founders Brewing Company. Definitely an IPA you should go grab. I mean, it's all over the place. You should be able to find this. Uh, and it is a year year round IPA. So definitely check it out. Um I think we're I'm pretty excited. We've got some other uh, founders IPAs that we got in a mix that we're going to be uh, releasing here before too long. Yeah, I think um, we get three more. The, <laughs> yeah, this is the first one, so uh, it'll be a, a little series here that we're going to do on the on the founders IPAs. But definitely go grab this one if you have not tried it. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, cheers that notification bell. Check us out on all the social medias that we have down below friendster myspace i mean we're just killing it on myspace right now uh so go check that out uh also check us out on uh hopped up beer review discord server hop on in there come say hey to three of us it's a chat room it's nothing scary uh at all uh so uh lastly if you have any it's so hopped up beer review merch <laughs> Yeah, interesting. Hopped up your review merch like Jay's shirt uh, or some other things. We have a link for that as well. Anything else to say on this one, guys? Didn't think so. For Andy in the attic and Jay, I am Ben. Thanks for watching. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. All day. All day, every day. <laughs> <laughs>